Earlier this month, Lifetime Cable Network reportedly gave an ultimatum to D. James Kennedy Ministries, eliminate all controversial content or be pulled from the network. The ministry's weekly half-hour television series addressed abortion and other matters of concern to Christian social conservatives. But in recent weeks, that content has become problematic. The show is no longer on air. Joining me now to talk more about this is CEO and president of D. James Kennedy Ministries, Frank Wright. Dr. Wright, we appreciate your time. Your show was one on Lifetime for about three years without complaint. What did they say was controversial about the programming now? It started with their complaint about a program we produced at the end of January about the sanctity of human life. Typical because of the anniversary of celebration of, on the left and, uh, and problematic uh, attitude on the right of the Roe versus Wade decision from 1973, almost always in January, we focus on the sanctity of human life. And we did a particular program on the David Daleiden case who did undercover photography showing Planned Parenthood executives showing prices for baby body parts that were for sale. And they contact, uh, Lifetime executives contacted us and said, that's uh, too controversial, it's too graphic. We showed no graphic images whatsoever. Uh, and then you can no longer produce a program on abortion on our network. And by the way, we need to see the next three weeks of your program. Well, the next two weeks following in the schedule was a program on George Soros entitled Billionaire Radical which we've talked about on CBN News before. We've actually even aired it. We aired it in October on the Lifetime Network. N nary a complaint. But all of a sudden, Billionaire Radical is no longer acceptable. A program on George Soros's influence on the media, no longer acceptable. Oddly enough, even a program on the spiritual life of George Washington was deemed unacceptable to them. Mm. And the ultimatum we received was basically, your programming going forward must have all non-controversial topics in order to continue to air on our network. You know, if you're a biblical Christian these days, there's not much in the culture that's not considered controversial, everything from gender to marriage to you name it. And so we are no longer on the Lifetime Network because we were forced off of essentially what we consider to be viewpoint discrimination. In an op-ed, you call this the new face of corporate responsibility in America. What did you mean by that? Well, uh, we've always had this idea that there's a free marketplace of ideas. It actually, that phrase or a derivative of it originated with John Newton back in the days when the English crown was uh, pro prohibiting Bibles being, from being printed by certain folks. And Newton spoke about the marketplace of ideas in which he said, good ideas tend to rise, bad ideas tend to fall. Truth never suffers in the free marketplace of ideas. And so we've always counted on corporate entities to understand America's heritage of free speech. Uh, the Declaration of Independence, in which Jefferson outlined uh, rights that were inalienable because they were endowed by God, among them life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. So corporations in America have always held to those ideals that liberty is our highest ideal, uh, and especially as it relates to religious speech because religious speech is the first one articulated in the First Amendment. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. These days, though, corporate entities are the new face mm -hmm. of what George Orwell referred to in 1984, his book 1984, the new face of new speak. Yeah. They speak a different language. The definitions have different meanings, and they're no longer willing to allow us to be heard in the marketplace of ideas. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Much appreciated.